Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, as you guys may be able to tell, I have got my hair dyed again, which, but we just put some more pink in it. Love the colour and I think it just looks really, really cool. So, as you guys can tell by the title of this video, this is my everyday makeup routine. I don't actually personally wear makeup every single day, but I do wear makeup most days of the week because I have to wear it for work. And then obviously I film on the weekends, so when I'm filming I'm wearing makeup. So this makeup here is the one that I will generally do like every time I'm putting on my makeup. I've done one of these before like last year, but since then some of the products that I have been using have changed. And I think just the way I've been doing my makeup has just changed. If you want to see how I created this look here, then just keep watching. So the first product that I'm going to use on my face is this. And this is the Nivea Soft Refreshingly Soft Moisturising Cream. I just use this, first of all, as like a moisturiser and second of all, as like a primer. Because I've just found that when I use this on my face before foundation, my foundation looks so much smoother and it just makes my skin look less cakey. I just dot that on my face and then just blend it in. Next, just to prime my lips, I'm going to use this, and this is just a tinted lip balm, and this is the Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm in Mixed Berry. So now I'm going to move on to foundation, and I've been using this foundation for ages, so this hasn't changed, and that is this one here, and this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation in the shade 103 True Ivory. So I usually just take like two pumps on my hand to start off with, and then I just dot it on my face. Now I'm just going to use my very, very gross Dirty Beauty Blender that I need to clean to blend this out. Use like a dabbing motion. I also make sure to blend it into my hairline so I don't have harsh lines. And then I just use whatever's on my hand and I just go down my neck and on my jawline as well just so we don't get harsh lines. Normally I would go and do my ears as well but seeing as I've recently got some more piercings I'm not going to just because I don't want them to get all infected and gross. But at least make sure that you do like this little part here. I'm just going to take another about half a pump and then just build it up on the areas that I feel like needs it. So now that my foundation is done, it's time to move on to concealer. So again, no surprise, this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in the shade 010 Ivory. And I just use this under my eyes to conceal my, my dark circles and near my spots and just around my nose as well. I just apply it in like this little triangle dot in here and then do it on my eyelids. And to blend that out I'm just going to use the same beauty blender. So I use the flat side for any of my spots and then I use the pointer tip for under my eyes, my eyelids and around my nose. I don't swipe. Okay, next I'm going to set all of that down and to do that I'm going to be using this. This is the Revlon Color Stay and it's in the shade Rubbed Off but I think it was 880 Translucent. And then to apply it I'm just going to use a powder brush. So I just swirl it around and then I just pat it into my skin to start off with. I just find that this helps just to lock in some powder because I feel like if you just go on swirling it, you're just going to move your foundation around. I don't know if that is technically correct, but I've just found that this is what works for me. This powder also does a really, really good job of taking away oil. So if you get oily throughout the day and you notice that your makeup is looking a little bit like shiny and gross and sticky and oily, then just dot this on your face and it will take away the oil. Now that I've kind of dabbed it in, I'm just going to swirl it around and then just swirl it on my face. 
remember also to do your jawline and your neck. Next I'm just going to take this and this, this is the Australis Contouring and Highlighting Kit and I'm just going to take a brush like this and then I just use this shade up here and I just contour my jawline and that is the only thing that I contour. Dip it in, tap off the excess and then just start halving out my jawline just so that it minimises the appearance of a double chin. Face a little bit more structure. Okay, so the next step is blush, just to put some life back into our face so it doesn't look flat. And I just use this little blush compact here. This is actually from Kmart and it actually surprisingly has very, very good pigment and is really easy to work with. So it just looks like this and as you guys can tell, I obviously like it because I have majorly hit pan on it. And then to apply it, I'm just going to use the same brush as before, but I've just wiped off the um, contour powder that was left on it which you probably won't be able to tell because this brush is very very dirty but I just like swirl it around tap off the excess smile and then dot it on the apples in my cheeks and then just bring it up as well I just find that bringing it up past the apples of your cheeks helps to kind of lift your face once I've sort of dabbed it on then I'll go and swipe it Next I'm just going to take an eyebrow spoolie and I'm just going to comb through them and then brush them out to get rid of any foundation or powder that might be in my eyebrows and just to help bring some of the colour back. I'm going to move on to eyes. So for my eyeshadow I just use this palette here and this is the Shan XO palette. The shade that I use in my crease changes quite a lot. I used to use this one and then I went on to this one but at the moment I've been using this like bronzy brown colour in the middle and I've really really been liking it so I use this colour in my crease and then I use this very very shimmery shade on my eyelid and my inner corner because I just feel like it helps to pop my eyes and make them look more awake. I also use this brown on my lower lash line. And as you guys can tell, I obviously really, really love this shimmery shade. And I obviously pack it on because I'm already at pan. And to apply those eyeshadows, I switch between these three brushes. These brushes are part of the Makeup For You kit. They are actually really, really crap, but I have no other brushes at the moment. Because I am saving up to get some of Shannon's So Beauty brushes. So until that happens, I just have to use these. So I use the bigger one for in my crease the like normal eyeshadow like lid brush for my lid then I use this smaller brush for my inner corner and I also use the bigger brush for under my lower lash line as well. I just start off with my crease colour, tipping off the excess and then just applying it to my crease. Done, I'm gonna move on to my lids and I usually apply like two coats of that eyeshadow and there is a little bit of fallout with this particular shade obviously because it is quite glittery that's one coat that's two coats now I'm just gonna go back into that crease shade and do under my eyes on my lower lash line now I'm going to highlight my inner corner with, again, the same shade that I used on my lid. This bit is one of my favourite steps about doing my overall makeup. And then I just bring it a little bit down onto my lower lash line, just so it helps, again, my eyes to look more awake. The difference that it makes on my eyes. Next I'm going to apply this, and this is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I'm just going to line my waterline and lining your waterline with a white just helps to open up your eyes and just helps to make you look less tired. So I've got this mirror here and it's one of those mirrors that makes your face look bigger. So I just find that those type of mirrors help when you're doing things like eyeliner and mascara and even lipstick. Now we're going to move on to mascara and I'm going to be using this one here and this is Maybelline's the Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes 
mascara in the shade, I think it's Glam Black. And the brush is just like this curved brush. Put it at the roots of my lashes and blink into it. The only thing I find with this mascara is I do get little flecks coming off. And then I just turn it on the sort of like dipped angle for my lower lashes. And I feel like uh, putting mascara on your lower lashes also helps the appearance of looking more awake. And you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. This is the difference that mascara makes. And I just find that blinking into it is so much easier. When I do my lower lashes, I also just use whatever is left on the brush after doing my top lashes. And then normally what I will do is I will dip my mascara wand back into the tube and just do another coat on my top lashes and then just take whatever is left and run it along my lower lashes. So now we are going to move on to lips and the lipstick that I use will generally change quite a bit. But these two lipsticks that I'm about to show you are the ones that I have been using a lot because I feel like they just go with a lot of outfits and they really, really complement my skin tone. And that are these two here. So this one is a lipstick and this one is a lip gloss. And because they're very, very similar in colour, I just feel like they work really, really well together. So this one here is the Maybelline Superstay 14 Hour Lipstick in 085 Till Mauve Do Us Part. And this lip gloss here is the Designer Brands Lavish Lip Gloss in the shade 603 Mystic Pink. And these lipsticks I find last very, very well. So like I can apply them in the morning and then I can eat some morning tea and I won't have to touch them up. And sometimes even after I've had my lunch I won't have to touch them up because the colour lasts very, very well. It is only the gloss that I will generally have to touch up. And yeah, obviously this is a like colour pigmented gloss. And I just find that this one makes my lips look like quite matte. And then I just apply this in like the centre mainly and then just feather it out. And it just helps bring them back to life. As you can see, this colour here is like a Your Lips But Better colour. So it's very, very close to my natural lip colour. So I have them on my top lip, but I don't have them on my bottom lip. The gloss is just this little doe foot applicator. And the last complete step that I will do is set all of that makeup with a makeup setting spray. And this one is the Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. And it just says, sets makeup for all day wear. And I will normally do this after I've waited for my mascara to dry because I feel like if you spray it on when your mascara is wet, it will like flake off. So makeup setting sprays just help to take away all the cakiness of a powder and just to help set your makeup down and to make it last throughout the day. So guys, that is my everyday makeup routine. So it just looks like this. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you are new, then I just want to say hey and welcome to my channel and I hope you decide to stick around and join our family here on this channel. We'd love to have you come along with us. Please check out some of my social media links. They have it listed in the description box below. And give me a follow on those. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Now I'm nervous talking outside. Just put it all in my eyebrow. Just tasted that. Wipe some of that excess off. Because that is disgusting. Guys. This is a clear example of why you need to clean your makeup brushes because I've just got all of that off my beauty blender. Oh crap, I just got it in my eyebrow. <laughs> I almost sprayed it this way and it would have gone all over my shirt. I have been wanting to watch the Bring It On All or Nothing movie and the Bring It On In It To Win It movie for about the past two weekends and I, I mean I've watched them before but I really really want to watch them again. I want to watch them with Shelby, but she's not here. She's at camp. But we're picking her up this afternoon, and I'm really excited to see her. Very, very hot today. 
think it is meant to be 28 degrees which is ridiculous because we're in March but hey if summer wants to last longer than it's meant to then that is fine with me it's the only annoying thing about having this cartilage piercing because seeing as it's a bar my hair always gets caught on it and it always pulls it so one thing that annoys me about this camera apart from not having a viewfinder is the fact that I can only record in 20 minute sessions because I did that before where I forgot and then I had to refilm a whole part but obviously you can't refilm a whole part when you're doing makeup again tapping off the, ex the excess yeah I hate using these brushes these brushes suck I always find this eye so much harder to do than this one oh, that looks so 